This is my body, and I can do whatever I want to it. I can push it, study it, tweak it, listen to it. Everybody wants to know what I'm on. What am I on? I'm on my bike, busting my ass six hours a day. What are you on? Banana smoothie, 20 bananas, bit of sugar in there. Mm. 2,500 calorie meal. <laughs> I eat more than the average Australian eats. I eat for one meal <laughs> from sugars. Mm. Organic bananas for the win. I had a trial recently, say, so Duran Rider, you're on drugs too. You're age 36. I've seen you out training with Lance Armstrong in Adelaide, Australia. How can you keep up with Lance Armstrong? who's on the, all the fucking drugs under the sun, claimed. How can you keep up with him if you're on fucking bread and water? On, or I should say, bananas and water. How can you do that? You're a fucking doper too. You're a hypocrite. Well, I've got to admit that I've got no problem with people taking drugs. Yes, it's bad for your health. Long-term, it fucks up your metabolism. But I've got, I don't have any hate or jealousy or anger toward people using drugs. I understand... It's a professional choice. If you want to be a big name in the YouTube fitness community or in cycling or running or swimming or bodybuilding, you've got to get on the gear. you got to get, if you want to get swole, you got to take the gear. If you want to have that watts per kilo, you got to take the gear. Now, that aside, if you look at my watts per kilo for 10 minutes on Strava, about 63 kilos I did one day up Corkscrew Road, I did about 5.8 watts per kilo for 10 minutes. That's my best. That was with no caffeine, no aspirin puffers, 100% full natty bra. No testosterone prescription or whatever. 100%. No pharmaceuticals or stimulants whatsoever. Just fruits, vegan foods. That's it. No caffeine, nothing. 5.8 watts per kilo, fresh legs, for 10 minutes up Corkscrew Road on Strava. Check it out. How can I keep up with Lance Armstrong with certain training? Training is different to fucking racing. As an example, someone like Lance or Froome, etc., or Wiggins, could hold about 6.7 watts per kilo for half an hour after about five hours racing after that day in the sun and the heat after about a week of racing mid Tour de France. So you got 5.8 on fresh legs for 10 minutes versus 6.7, five hours of racing for half an hour at 6.7 after a week of racing. So there you go. Training's one thing. Racing's another. And then racing at that level is another story or so whatever. So I have no issues training with the world's fastest cyclists on earth. I can keep up. I can do the distance. I can do the distance. Lance Armstrong's never done 6,000 kilometers in a month, ever. I've done 6,190 kilometers in a month. No caffeine, nothing. The thing is, though, ultra-endurance cycling is different to watts per kilo cycling, all right? There's a big difference. I can ride 6,000 kilometers with no drugs, no caffeine, no stimulants whatsoever. Not a problem. Saddle sore is the issue. But watts per kilo, that's a different story. Could I ride high watts per kilo? Fucking oath. You give me EPO, testosterone, a bit of blood doping, a bit of growth hormone, maybe a little bit of insulin, a bit of slim, a bit of modafinil. I could boost those watts per kilo up there to 6.7 for maybe 15 minutes. But after five hours of racing, another story. But that's the thing. Drugs fucking work. The reason why I don't take drugs is because they fucking work. And I'm curious to see how I can achieve natural gains. Would I do a study on EPO out of curiosity? I probably would. If someone said, hey, Duran Roy, we want to make a YouTube video. We're going to dosage you up on EPO. We're going to see what watts per kilo it gives you. Would you be interested in something like that? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I think the danger with the drugs is the long-term usage or the abuse of drugs. And now I'm not promoting it whatsoever. I'm just saying that drugs fucking work. And if you want to be a big name, it's part of the equation. It's just a professional choice regardless of your sport. Even if you're doing YouTube videos on how to get swole and get a physique, the greatness, or to be the strongest version of yourself, or whatever, the gear is going to help you get there. That's just how it is, guys and girls. So that's why we promote natural lifestyle. What am I on? I'm on the fucking banana smoothies.